Hi. There you go. There's the man. <laughs> All right. So Zach, thanks for taking this, uh, taking me up on this uh, offer to, to interview you. And uh, I'm going to make you an offer on this show too, if that's okay. I'm going to make you an offer. I'm not going to tell you now, but I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. And you can say yes or no. I won't be offended. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, uh, so I've done a few interviews before. Have you ever been interviewed before? Never. This is the first time. Okay. Well, this is exciting. So this is uh this is good for you, because uh, I, I don't think this will be your last one. Well, mate, I never know. This is a really <laughs> cool opportunity, though. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad you think so. That's awesome. Also, I run a podcast network called The Last of the Action Heroes Podcast Network. So I thought about doing this for the Rambo podcast, but I'm going to do this because I also do a Rocky podcast as well, and I'm also like the CEO owner of this podcast so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to this is going to be an interview for the whole podcast so everyone on the network will hear this interview not just my ramble fans that's cool because i've okay. never seen the rocky movies before well we're gonna have to fix that aren't we oh yeah because i've only seen uh the first rambo movie and i've seen i haven't seen any of the rockies but i've heard some really good things about them <laughs> there's only good things to hear my friend only good things to hear Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special interview episode. This is going to be on the Rocky podcast. This is going to be on the Ramble podcast. This is also just going to be on the last of the Action Heroes podcast network feed. Uh, I haven't done an interview in a while, so I'm really excited that I get to do this today because I, I, I love interviewing people. Uh, I've interviewed people like Bill Conti, uh, uh, Vince DiCola, uh, Robert Tepper, actors, uh, people who have a wide range of people. But today... Zachary is probably the youngest person I've ever interviewed. Zachary, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing really well. How about you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Now, do you like to be called Zachary? Zach, what's up? Well, it's really either one, whichever one you're more comfortable comfortable with. Because, like in public, people call me like either one. Really? Do they call you any other names? No, just Zachary or Zach. Either okay. either one really works. Well, I, I feel comfortable calling you both. So we'll just we'll just see what happens. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now, Zach, do you mind if I ask you right away, how old are you? I'm 12. I'm going to be 13 in May. Okay, you're 12, 13 in May. All right, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, Zach, the reason why you're on the show, this is legit. So, I actually am the moderator for the Rambo Reddit. So, really? if, yeah, so I'm the moderator. It's kind of funny how I got <laughs> became the moderator. Actually, I'll tell you the story, Zach, how I became the moderator of the Rambo Reddit, and then my listeners will also hear the story because I've never shared it before. So I was a member of that Reddit. Like I would, I, I, I don't know what they're called when you're a member of a Reddit, but you can subscribe or what, do you know what they're called when you become a member of Reddit? Is well, I'm Is not. It just I join. Reddit a lot. I think it's just like you join and then like you're just a redditor on a subreddit. I, I don't okay. think there's really a title for it. Or so I was on Reddit and I noticed, and I was trying to post something on the, on the Ramble Reddit or something, and it wasn't letting me or something was going on. And then I noticed that all the moderators had abandoned the Reddit. And there's a way. So what happens is, so you can actually claim a Reddit yep. when all the moderators have left. You just have to go to like r slash claim a Reddit account, and so you present the Reddit gods this account and say, "Hey, I want to be the moderator of this account because everyone's left it." And they give it to you. They grant it to you. So I did it. And I got the Reddit account. So the Ramble Reddit is now owned by yours truly. That's awesome. So on that Reddit account. You posted something on there. Was that you that posted your video? Yeah, that was my um, Rambo review. I, I, I talked about like movies on there. I talk about movies a lot on my channel. So you posted a Rambo review, and I saw, oh, there's a Rambo review. So I clicked on it, and lo and behold, I saw you, young man. I'm like, oh, boy, here's a kid going to review Rambo. It's going to be a gong show. It's going to be a gong show review. You're going to probably pick your nose. You're going to say stupid things about this. So what, could a, what could a young man like you have anything good to say about this film? Right. This is what I thought. But my, my young friend, you blew me away. <laughs> I loved your commentary. I thought you were very intelligent and uh, I really liked your take on First Blood. That's so awesome. Good Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. So I got a couple questions for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who recommended that you watch the film? Well, it's kind of like it's kind of an extra, like interesting story how, how I actually saw the movie because I was at my grandma's house and I, I turned on the AMC channel and the, the thing that they had on there was they had multiple showings for Rambo. And when I was there, I watched the movie, and I was like, I really like this movie, and I saw it multiple times there. I really Good liked man. It. Now, you just can't watch it once, can you? No, uh, you have to watch it multiple times. Really now, good. you did say something in your review 
And what I'm going to do for our listeners, folks, is after this interview with Zach, I'm going to put your vi- your reaction at the or your review of the film at the end of this interview, so people can hear your yeah. take on the film. Okay, is that okay with you? Do, do you give me your permission, Zach, to do that? Oh yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Okay. I, I got another uh, suggestion to uh, take off the comment blocker on your YouTube on some of these videos. I think people would have wanted to comment on your video, but they can't. Like me, I wanted to comment. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, but I think I'll like try because like I I put it to where it's supposed to have the comments on but then it just turns them off no matter what so i think i'll like go into like the studio and see if i can fix that after the interview yeah see if you can get that fixed could you so people can leave a comment because i've been sharing that on my podcast and stuff your reviews i want people to leave a comment saying good job but you know when you leave comments open people can say some negative things too are you prepared for the yes. negative trolls oh yeah because like if i like post like when my reviews are on reddit or something like people will be well people will be like oh there's a stupid kid posting posting his thing about a movie do you want to give me those names so I can take them out for you? Well, like no one's nobody specific. I don't even really. Look. Oh, okay. I just like glance at the like the thing. Look at you! You've already got your shield up. You've already you're already protecting yourself from the trolls. Good man. Oh yeah. Good man. Okay, so you saw this movie. Your grand your grandparents were okay with you watching First Blood. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> were your parents okay? Yeah, like my grandpa, like. He even fought in the Vietnam War, so he's he he knows these movies really well. So oh wow, good for him. Well, I wanted to say that. So you were talking about the Vietnam, the Vietnam War, and you were very educated about the Vietnam War and what the soldiers have suffered. How did you know that? Did you know that from watching the film, or did your grandpa share information to you about that? Well, because like in fifth in sixth grade, which was last year, I learned a lot about like that period of history from like early early nineteen hundreds to like late nineteen hundreds. So a part of that uh, year was learning about the Vietnam War, so and I love history, so I, I know a lot about that. Good for you. Uh, would you consider yourself a nerd? It it depends on how you classify the word nerd. Like what do you like Well somebody who has a bad haircut and, and goofy glasses? Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> No, no, I'm just fucking you, buddy. I love your humor. That's what I, I see. I knew I could do that joke with you because I could tell with your reviews, you have a great sense of humor, very quick sense of humor. In fact, I watched your uh, Madam Web review, which only has one view, now two with me. I thought your Madam Web review was absolutely excellent. You, where do you come up with this stuff? Do you have anything prepared before you start the reviews or you just go off the top of your head? Well, I watch, I watch the movie and then like I'll think about it for however long before I actually record it and then i'll just like when i'm thinking about like things that hit me like as soon as i'm like recording i'll be like i'll i'll, I'll just go ahead and say that well dude you you don't write anything down not usually so then sometimes i'll drop down some notes before i record or stuff like that it's like i keep it like the back of my mind like while i'm watching the movie and then i just kind of spit that out onto the camera and i also saw that you reviewed a james bond film i mean that's an old school roger moore film do you want to talk about that Oh, yeah, I love the James Bond movies. We have a, a podcast host on the Last of the Action Heroes Podcast Network who specializes in James Bond films. That's his whole channel is the James Bond films. And uh, if he's listening, I want to say, Zach, you do a better job than he does. Well, he, I mean, he's a little bit older than me. so. Well, know. he's much older than you. He's very old. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm older than him. That's just uh, that's just that's Jack. He knows I'm just teasing. He does he does a great job. But I kind of see a little bit of a young Zach and a young Jack. Quite frankly, you both have a very quick sense of humor. Because when I watch the Bond films, I'm watching them in order. So I think I'm the last one I saw is For Your Eyes Only, which came out in 1981. So I'm I'm just going on like I'm like watching them in in order chronologically. Now, do you watch these? Who? How do you get access to the films? Is it through streaming service or your? Well, I got access to the first one through a store that's in Cross Lanes in West Virginia, and I picked up like the first James Bond movie, and then from there, I figured out, hey, these movies are actually on Max. That's one of the streaming services. I went on there, and that's how I've been watching the James Bond movies since. Where did your love of mo- movies come from? Well, so I like I watch these movies, and I think like you know what? this is act- this is really cool, and, like how they make them and each detail and everything i i i love that and in fact i think one of the things i would like to do because they have this uh program at this one college so i probably like to do is like try out that film program when i get there dude you should look you're a bright kid i'm not gonna lie do you think i'd waste my time talking to a dumb kid probably not probably not i'm too smart for that i'm smart enough not to waste my time with that I, i've got enough kids of my own i don't need to talk to any more right 
You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. but I could tell there was something special about you. So before I go any further in this interview, I do have a I do have a request. You can say yes or no, or you can say I got to think about it. Let me talk to my dad or whatever. I understand. Mm. But you're so good at your reviews, from what I saw online. I would like to offer you a position, a job that anytime you cover an action film or James Bond film or anything like like that nature, to share your review on my podcast feed, last the Action Heroes Podcast Network. So how would I do that? I would take care of everything. You don't worry about nothing. You so just do just, you just do your YouTube videos as you would do them, and I would take care of the rest. Okay, yeah, I think yeah, you can do that. I will never edit, I'll never alter your voice, I'll never make you sound you will make yourself sound stupid. I won't make it worse, I promise. Well, I've, well, I see a lot of stupid things, so that's right. why you <laughs> yeah. dude, that's our whole podcast network. We are we're all we don't know what we're talking about, so you're perfect. You're perfect for the network. I think it would be perfect to have a young voice. We got a bunch of old white men talking about podcasts we need a younger we need a young voice to get these young listeners on our network i think you're the right man for the job yeah and i'll like share like your podcasts and stuff like like where i can like like share stuff like that so yeah like whenever i like upload stuff like that I'll... sure hey, tell all your friends tell all your other 12 year old friends to, to check out the last of the action Heroes podcast network we appreciate that right. uh do you have any siblings yeah i have one sister and she's upstairs right now what's she doing I'm not sure what she's doing, really. How old is she? She's eight years old. She's eight years old? Yeah, she's not watching Rambo? No, she's probably not watching Rambo. No, that's okay. I have a nine-year-old daughter, and she's watching Taylor Swift. D- does your sister like Taylor Swift? Do you like Taylor yeah. Swift? Yeah, she likes Taylor Swift. I, I don't know where her popularity came from. She is so annoying. Well, you don't, you don't, wait, your sister or Taylor? Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you don't like her, eh? Oh, I I think I, I she's talented, but I I can't stand her music. And what uh, what music do you like to enjoy? What do you rock out to? I re- hear me out. I really like like eighties, seventy. Like, hear you out, dude. This is you're you're talking to me, man. Like I was born in seventy five. Go on. What what kind of eighties, seventies music do you like? Seventies, sixties, eighties, like um like jazz and pop, like stuff like that. Big What's your favorite eighties hair metal band? What? Who's your favorite '80s hair metal band? I don't know any bands in specific. I just kind of like listen to the songs, and then from there, I. All right, we'll get we'll get you we'll get you squared away with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you also mentioned before the interview started that you haven't seen any of the Rocky films. Uh, is your is your dad a, a good dad or what? What's going on with him? I actually, I think he's he might be in the basement with me right now, just like listening from the the other. Oh, way. I know he should be. Oh yeah, he's here. <laughs> Is he not going to show you the Rocky films? You're you're 12 years old. What's going on? We have the Rocky movies. Oh. We just haven't had the time to see them yet. Oh, you got to make time. You got to make time. Because I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Rocky films on, on the last of the Action Heroes podcast network. I think your thoughts would be valuable to the network. I've heard a lot of good things about the movies. Well, they're good. And you got to finish the Rambo films. Now, they do get more violent as the films go on. You, would your parents let you watch that kind of violence? Probably, yeah. I've seen like... I've seen like other movies like similar to that. Well, I did notice you did a Halloween Kills review. Like, dude, this is some violent stuff. What's going on here? Are you okay? I, yeah, I enjoyed like some like horror movies. Like horror movies are like like kind of okay, but like there's are some that kind of like stand out there. Like they're kind of cool. Well, I love horror movies too. When I was your age, when I was eight years old, I saw the original Halloween. So I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just. I feel you, man. I enjoy good horror mo- movies too. And you are 12. And let's let's be honest. Once you hit 12. You kind of watch whatever at that point. Once you hit 12, it all starts coming in. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You mentioned in the uh, first blood review as well. And uh, I'm going to forgive you for this, but do not forget this for now. And you said you didn't know the actor's name that played Rambo. Have you rectified that? Yeah, it's Sylvester Stallone. Okay. Oof. It's okay. That's how new you were. And I understand that. You, you, have you never seen him before? Did you, did, you, did you ever hear of him before? I've heard of him. I, I know it, but like when I was actually like recording, I was like, I just had like a brain fry. I couldn't really think of the name. That's yeah, okay. so that's really cool. He's really cool. And did I catch you curse during that review? I'm not 100 percent sure. I can't. I don't really remember. Do you like? Do you curse around your parents? No. Do you curse around your friends? Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, but you, you mumbled it on your breath, and I'm like, oh, this you caught yourself, and uh... <laughs> well, like sometimes in my movie reviews, when I get like really hyped about a movie, I'll like say something that I wouldn't normally say, and then. Like, I'll just kind of, like, put that out there because, like, 
I like I get really hyped about some of these movies. Dude, you got very passionate. You got very passionate. And I love it though. That's the kind of passion we need. I will say this right now officially. You're better than half of my podcast hosts on the network. I know. I won't, I won't say I won't say which ones. They can they can decide for themselves. They gotta pick up their game. But you, my friend, you're you're a better reviewer than half of them. They have to get they have to get back on the grind. They have to get back on the grind. They're getting too lackadaisical. You know, they're gonna see this young blood come in and showing them how to do it. They're going to have to pick up their game a little bit. Yeah, they're going to have to pick up the pace. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Why did you want to start a YouTube channel? Like, what brought you to wanting to do that, to put yourself out there? Because you, remember, there are people that are going to troll you. There's going to be people that are going to disagree with you. Are, you. are you prepared for the onslaught of negative reviews that could come in? Oh, yeah. And, like, because, like, when you have an opinion about, like, a movie or something like that, that's your opinion. Nobody else is going to change that by, like, make, by, like, making some Reddit comment that's, like, Dole this kid, you're you're wrong actually. So like I, I have my opinion about my movies and like I'm not changing them. Good. <laughs> Seriously, Reddit is a cesspool of uh, negativity. Yeah, that's why I don't get on very long long. It's like it's like um it's it's awful. It I is don't... awful. Yeah. It is all it's the worst. People are always looking for things and the fact that you can navigate those waters and not uh and not quit quit what you enjoy. That's good. So you want to go into film. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you want to look into being a filmmaker, work on films. What is it you'd like to do? Snap your fingers right now. Probably, what would you like? What would you like to do on a film? Like probably like making a movie or like producing it because like I have like ideas for like movies or like stuff like that, that like I have like written down and stuff that like, I think it'd be pretty cool. Like seeing like the filmmaking process, you know, like your Spielbergs and like, people like that i think that's awesome there you go well we need you know, spielberg's gonna die soon you know that right yeah that's really sad yeah it's sad we'll, we'll cry about it later he's still alive now but uh they're not gonna like slow too like these guys aren't gonna live forever we need the, the young generation like you to be passionate about film you know what i like about you you probably don't waste your time on tiktok do you no yeah i knew it i knew it you, you don't waste your you're, you're spending quality time watching real movies you're not going through those 90 second clips. You could actually, you actually sit down and watch a film all the way through. Do you go on your phone or anything when you're watching a film? If there's like something like I need to like look up about the movie because I'm like curious about it, That's then fair. I'll, I'll do that. But like other than that, no, because like if you go on to TikTok, your brain cell, you, you may have like a bunch of brain cells when you get on, you get off, you'll have like two. That's true. That's a scientific fact. I think they actually proved that in Harvard last year that you lose brain cells when you watch TikTok. I want to hear your reviews on the channel. In fact, I, like I said, I'm going to play your your ramble review after this. You can go as short as long as you want. I think your your five, six, seven minute reviews they're great. You don't have to drag them out. You don't, have to, but you can make them as long as you want or as short as you want. It's, it's all gravy. Because like I try and make my movies, my my reviews like three minutes long at shortest, and then they just kind of like go on. Like as long as I want to talk about the movie, usually. No, well, you're doing great because I think, dude, I think you've got some real potential. Like if I can do something with this, you can really do something. At your age, you're passionate about films. You, you're you're articulate when you talk. You say big words that even I don't understand. You're a bright kid. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome and I, look i want to thank your dad too for for allowing this to happen and i i really do appreciate your time and i think your voice will be a great voice on on youtube and, and on our uh, podcast network i'm excited for you zach what's the next film what, what do we have next in the uh the docket here so like in terms of like reviews i have i actually have a video that i'm like that i've scheduled to upload in the morning that is a 1968 um espionage action thriller that takes place during the cold war What's it called? It's called Ice Station Zebra. Have you ever heard of that one? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say no. I'm not. I don't think I've heard of it. You've watched it, and you got a review for it. Oh yeah, it's not a super big movie because actually, I I heard it on like this like album. I just like heard it, and I was like, you know, this actually sounds like a cool movie because it's a, it's extremely dated because of the time it was made. But I think it still is pretty good. I I enjoyed it. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to. Can that maybe be your debut episode? Maybe that could be your, that could be the debut episode on the network. You could throw that on there. What do you think? Oh yeah, that would be really cool. Okay. Well, this interview with the debut debut. So again, at the end of this interview, folks, check out uh, Zachary as always. Why do you call it Zachary as always? Why is that the name of your channel? Oh, because it's it's like a really dumb thing. But my name is Zachary, and right. then I'm and I'm there as always. It's like I kind of just came up with it while I was like tiling it for my first video which are absolutely awful. Like almost three years ago, 
in fifth grade. That that was weird. That was bad. Like yeah, back when you were young and stupid, but now you're old and smart, right? Yeah, now now I'm old and like ancient. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I, I trust me. My first videos and uh, are are terrible too. But guess what? They're not much better anymore. You know, I've peaked. I've already. I've. This is as good as I get. This, but you have potential to get even better. Hey, you're you're doing really well. I mean, oh. Like, you you have set all this up like multiple episodes. You have like sixty four episodes. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, a I few. Really I got a few episodes. Are you talking about the Ramble podcast? Yeah, that sounds about yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We would love to have you on the network. I think you're great, Zachary. As always, let's just keep yeah. that. I mean, that's your name, whether you like it or not. That's what you got, man. That's your brand. And here's the thing, like, like people like will look up my channel title, but people like oh, like people I've even known for years like spell my name wrong. So when they're looking it up. Like even one misspelled letter won't won't send them to the channel, which is kind of annoying. But it's very frustrating. I know. <laughs> I hear you, brother. You'll get a couple new ears on your voice, and people will, will go to your channel and support you. Get those comments unlocked so people can support you that way as well. I think people like to interact with you that way. I know I wanted to. I wanted to leave a comment and say, "Hey, good job, Zach," but I couldn't, so I had to go to Reddit and leave it there because the comments were open there. That's how we got in touch with each other. Well, Zach, you are a good man. This will not be the last time we talk. I got a feeling you might guest host with me one day. If you're up for it, we'll bring you on as a guest host for one of my big episodes for when I cover okay. Rambo. Just like, just like, hit me up like on Reddit, and then we can like sort that whole thing out. That'll be great. <laughs> sure, I'll hit you up on Reddit. That's that's the way we'll do it. We're covering the Rambo cartoons right now, so since you're a kid, it might be nice to have some uh, a kid perspective on the Rambo cartoons. So can I can I can I write you down for a Rambo cartoon review with me, and my uh, co-host Dom? Oh yeah. All right, it's in the books. Let me just get my staff on that, guys. You write that down. Good. You're penciled in, my friend. I've never seen the. I didn't even know there was a Rambo TV show. I thought it was just the movies. But that's how big Rambo is, my friend. It's a cartoon as well. Wow, it's it's everything. It's, it's everything. everything. That's right. Well, you got to watch the rest of the movies too, my friend. I want to hear your reviews because they're going to go on our channel as well. You're a good man. Thanks, your dad, for letting me uh, talk to you and uh, show that I'm not a creep. I felt really weird <laughs> reaching out. That's yes. why I said. That's why I said right away. Can you get your dad to make sure he's reading this? So uh, yeah, thanks. See, that's Zach. what my dad said. Like when I was first like introducing the thing, he was like. Who is this guy? Like, yeah, it's fair. Like, is this guy like, like stuff a like creep? That? It's okay. Yeah. No, you know what? <laughs> you got to be careful was, out there. He was a little bit curious. Uh, yeah, no, your dad's a good man, and we we had a great conversation yesterday. He seems to be very proud of you, as he should be. Zach, you're a good man. Anything you want to say final before we close up here? Um, not that I can think of, like off the top of my head. Okay, that's good. That's a good closing out. Nothing, nothing for me either. Anyways, guys, enjoy. Zach, as always on YouTube, enjoy his Ramble First Blood review that I'm going to play right after this. Zach, you were an absolute pleasure, and I think all of our listeners are going to look forward to your movie reviews in the action genre on our channel. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is Zachary, as always, and today I'm talking about Rambo. Now, this movie started off a whole strand of action movies, and it is such a good one. I think um, Rambo is so amazing, and I want to talk about it here because it does so many things well. So, following um, Vietnam, um, this war, this soldier named Rambo, he, he was a skilled soldier, but just it's it's kind of based off of the real world because the time this came, the time this takes place is right after Vietnam, and um, we all know if you know your history, um, right after Vietnam, a lot of the soldiers that fought since since Vietnam was such a um controversial war, a lot of the soldiers that fought in the Vietnam were disrespected. And that's exactly what happens here. Rambo is just walking down the street and this police officer taunts him for fighting in the Vietnam War. And like it's just evil. Like these police officers and these people around him are just beating him up for fighting and sacrificing his life for his country. And I know there's a very controversial war and everything, but yeah, I think it's really sad. It's based off of real events, eventually, but then he gets to the police station, and he's like, you know what, I'm done with this. So then he just, and then he just, like, rips through all these police officers, like, paper, and it's, it's pretty cool, to be honest, there's so many cool sequences. Like, Rambo kicks absolute ass in this movie. Like, he beats, like, everybody up, like, he'll use, like, alright, so we get to see a little bit of his training that we actually saw in Vietnam, that we actually saw him do in Vietnam, um, that he must have done in Vietnam or whatever, in, um, later in the movie, because then, he runs off into the woods, and then, all of these policemen are going out there to find him, like, there's helicopters, there's all of this, 
Because, you know, he assaulted several police officers. And, um, and he goes through this forest, and he uses his training from Vietnam here to survive. And yeah, there's this one part where he's on the side of a cliff, or he's on the side of a mountain just climbing around. And then there's this helicopter that's just like, hey, we're going to shoot you. Because you're, because you, uh, well, we don't like you. Not going to specifically tell you why, but it's kind of just implied by the time period. Anyway, so they start shooting at him, and he eventually pulls the guy out of the helicopter after it gets close enough. The helicopter crashes. He falls onto his face. The plane officer falls onto his face into the rocks, and then he just, like, gets down, like, walks away. Bro! <laughs> and then, you may think he's all just all this dumb brute, but he's not. Rambo is way more than that, and you know why? Because after that, there's a sequence we'll talk about later, because first, not a sponsor, but I want to talk more about this fourth sequence. So eventually they know, you know what, this Rambo guy maybe has more skill than we think. So they actually bring in his, somebody that was connected to his, to what he fought for, like his, basically his boss from Vietnam, and um, he comes in and he's like, Rambo. Hear me out. We can talk about this. But he's like, no, man. And, um, th th Rambo is such a freaking cool character. Um, forgot the actor's name, but, um, anyway, so, he does all these things. He does all these cool tricks and flips, whatever. And he eventually outsmarts all these police officers, ends up killing them all. And it's like this really gritty action sequence. And you can f feel the atmosphere. And it's cool how... It's like, these are police officers are not expecting this. See, and then, but, like, Rambo has all this experience from Vietnam, and anyway, so, they eventually, he eventually gets out of the forest, and he's in town. And, you know, things, hell breaks loose here. Things are blowing up, cars are blowing up, the uh, town is thrown into chaos when Rambo is there, and it, it, stuff is exploding, it's, it's, it's getting crazy, and this is my most favorite part of the movie, I think it looks really cool. And then eventually... His uh, his guy that was basically his boss um, from Vietnam confronts him in like this convenience store, this abandoned convenience store, and he walks up to him and Rambo, he just breaks out crying because like all of this trauma built up from Vietnam and to come back and not to not be accepted and be kind of poor actually is sad for him and he has all this emotional baggage that he's been carrying and has been um, showing through these violent acts. Uh, of self-defense, and it's just a really sad sequence, and it shows he's not just a dumb brute, he is, he has emotion, and this is such a nice sequence, definitely an amazing end to this movie, so, eventually ends with him crying, you know, really showing his emotion after being this cold, tough warrior for all this time, seeing it's nothing more but a tool for warfare, but he's more than that, he is Rambo, and this is an amazing movie. So yeah, guys, definitely a 10 out of 10. Maybe a 9.5. But I don't know, guys. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.